Mr. Yeah. Phillips, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. You walked over, but you couldn't hear me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what was going on down there. Um, all right. So this is cause number, the, the particular case that I'm calling right now, and I know there are several cases, but is F0-2924, because that's the case I have set for jury trial on Monday. Well, actually, my first case was about almost three years ago. It's supposed yeah. to be a jury trial. Well, this is the it first a one. Case, though, yeah. Well, this is the case that we're going forward on on Monday is a possession of methamphetamine for 200 grams. Um, and so I want to make sure I know that Mr. Phillips back in on April 11th, we had a, a hearing and you had rejected a plea offer of 28 years on two of the cases and 15 years on one of the cases that were all supposed to run concurrent. Uh, and at that time said that uh, you wanted a jury trial. I want to make sure you understand certain things. First of all, that's the case that we're going forward on would be a second degree felony punishable by two to 20 years. However, the state's alleged two prior final felony convictions one from March of 1981 in Dallas County for the offense of rape and another from 2005 in Dallas County for the offense of uh, robbery. If the state can prove those two prior final felony convictions, then the punishment range is 25 to 99 years or life. Um, and so I want you to first of all understand that. Second of all, uh, as to some of the other cases, the other two cases, one of those is also alleged to be a habitualized offense punishable by 25 to life. And then I think one of them is a, uh, enhanced to a second degree felony, so it's punishable by two to 20 years uh, by trying them. Uh, if we were to try these cases separately, there would be the option of punishment being stacked one on top of the other. Um, but I want to uh, warn you, first of all, about the ranges of punishment uh, that uh, if the jury finds these two enhancements to be true, they start at 25 years and they can go as far as 99 or life. Last month, we had a case that was a two to 20 year case and the jury gave the, who had no prior convictions uh, 18 years on a what we used to would call a 3g offense uh, and the month before we had a, a case that was 25 to life but unlike th these cases that case had no opportunity for parole it was day for day the defendant was 25 years old and had no priors and the jury gave him 75 years so he will be over 100 before he's eligible to uh, or not eligible before he is released if he lives that long so hill county juries are very unforgiving i want to warn you about that i think i already told you that once must be pretty forgiving they forgave Turk cox for all that did they stole from the county they got their delivery stuff out there and call the corner right now in the ups truck so he tried to get us to sell his dope and gun and shit for him well, Mr. Phillips, I want to tell a good. Why can they get people like that? House of Red never go to jail. Come ask us to show them stuff, dope and doing the shit for them. Me and Tim Claren, that they got stuck in jail for 25 years right now. You no, know, but uh, they can go back 40 years on a pony ass case on me because they can't cry me for what I suppose. I, 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 well, going on Mr. six nine years, this here, uh, I Mr. have never had a dope charge in my life, not even a paraphernalia case, until they got, they got mad at us for not selling the drugs and dope shit for them. Well, and here's what I can tell on me and got my niece Tamara there and daughter in prison, put Tim there in prison. Now they got it on me. Well, yeah. Mr. Mr. Phillips, all I can tell you is Monday morning. And this we are y'all got it, but. Dragging us in the past, and the I'm gonna get it out for that because this is all these phony charges we put. I got eight damn charges here. And well, 
I'm even paying for a Garcia Phillips and them hospital bills here in jail because they think y'all subpoena me for a jury trial under Garcia Phillips. I am not Garcia Phillips. Mr. But Phillips, I got out here in my pocket to subpoena me to court on the 20th and 21st at Garcia Phillips. No mm. court ain't even run right. Well, all that the jury will decide. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to speak before the jury. Uh, dickhead honey better not show up. I done told him. I fired him eight times. Told him well, to get out of my face. And I meant it. He worked for the DA's office, not for me. He has not even come to me. He has not done a thing that I asked him. I was saying he runs up. I, I think he better. Cop out for this. You know when they can go up. Come on, I'm tired of all those damn jokes that the court does. All right. Well, Mr. Phillips, here's certain things. I know all about the we need. About those damn phony ass city. That's what I'm going to tell them. The jury, everything I know. All right. Well, Mr. Phillips, I'm, I'm going to give you one more opportunity and then you're going to eat. What? Well, at this point, you're just going to listen and I'm going to talk. That's what's going to happen. If this case goes to the jury, as I've told you, it's 25 to 99 years or life. You need to determine whether or not you want, if you are convicted, whether you want the jury to, to assess punishment or whether you want the court to assess punishment. So at this time, I'll ask you that. Which one do you wish? Do you wish... If convicted, for the jury to assess punishment or for the court to assess punishment? They have yeah, it muted uh, currently. Yeah, now you've got, now it's muted on that end if there's anybody in there. Say, so we, we need uh, y'all to come on in here and. If uh, yeah. If you all will put Mr. Phillips back in his chair and turn the microphone on, please. All right, there we go. All right, thank you. No problem. All right, All right. Mr. Phillips, which which one do you want if if convicted? Do you want the judge or the jury? You want the jury. All right. The court will make sure that then the jury will be the person or the entity that will assess punishment if and only if you are convicted. Now you're you've been doing nothing but complain about Mr. Dahoney. He's a good lawyer. He's going to do everything he can for you. That's big well, so here's your, here's your choices. How come everybody it, fired him? I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Phillips. Nobody it's hires and fires court-appointed lawyers Practice other than me. Three years, and he well, done that thing for me. Well, but Mr. Phillips, <laughs> again, time for time. Well, and I'm gonna let the jury know. They've been offering me deals and coercing me, scaring me. Uh, I'm going to let them know what it all. Well, if you want to represent yourself, you Threaten can represent me. I yourself. I got threatened. Why? Do what? And I got two witnesses that went over to the courtroom with me when they threatened me. Harry Phillips up all his damn mind and started talking shit to me. All right, Mr. Phillips. How come they won't let me subpoena my witnesses? Haven't been court. I've got four witnesses I actually would like to be there, but that's on this one ain't talking to me. Nothing other than to try to scare me and assign me for time. It's the only thing that a big honey will do. Well, Mr. Phillips, if you wish to represent yourself, you can I represent did. I yourself. I signed papers three years ago when I first started this crap with y'all. To uh, represent myself on a jury trial, but they told me I couldn't do it. Well, I'm going to tell you By this. Law, you can. If if you choose, yeah, and I'll I let you represent. I find papers to do it. I don't have those papers. I will send you. I will send you a waiver of counsel. But Mr. Downey will be there as what I call standby counsel. Well, and, they sent me a letter and, I had in my pocket where they said I have I, to have him as my attorney. Which is a damn lie because I fired three of them in Dallas one time. All right. Let me finish talking before you jump up and down. Me. If you want to represent yourself, I'll I send do it you. And I find the papers to do it. All right. And then keep your mouth shut so I can explain it. 
I will send I will send a waiver down there. You sign it. I'll put you back on here and explain it so that we've got a clear record. Uh -huh. Mr. Back let, on here. Don't you give me the court. Let and then that really pissed me off. Well, that's on you, not on me. The other issue is even if you represent yourself, you will be required to follow every rule of evidence. You'll be required to have courtroom decorum. You're not going to be doing this business like you're doing now, trying to talk over everybody else. Well, why are you pulling me trying to offer me deals with illegal? You can make deals. I'm not trying to make any deal with you. What I'm trying to do is get ready for the fact that I'm having a jury trial yeah, Monday you morning. Put me out of here and offer me. <laughs> Come on, man. I ain't stupid now. I'm 70 bucks. Well, 59. You're low. I ain't retarded. So when I'm going to keep on offering you time, dragging you and offering you time again and threatening you, well, I'll just... My jury, I'll tell them to give you live. I'll stack all your charges, every one of them. And I got women to stand up in court and say exactly what I was told. That all is right. the, other, the other thing you need to figure out is, as far as I know, you don't have any appropriate clothing for a jury well, trial. Uh, I did try to come home a while ago. Did you? I will go. They have clothes down there for you. Yeah. They, hey, that dumb ass told me I didn't have no one to bring me clothes. I have a sister right there in Carl Tony, and I've got well, all the clothes in the middle of the mall out here at the edge of town. I have, more, I have them right there in my house. Well, your sister I has mean, been, your sister, I believe, has received a subpoena to come testify from Mr. Dahoney on your behalf. And I have spoken to his sister, you know, about potential for clothes. I've also, you know, listened to a phone call of his dated April the 13th in which he'd indicated to her that he didn't want any clothes, but I believe now that they, it sounds like this is the first time hearing it, but maybe, maybe they've got that clothing situation worked out and that sounds yeah, good to me. Uh, Excellent. As long as you've got appropriate clothing, I don't want you in front of the jury dressed like you are right now. Like y'all make it dress. I don't know. It's got make it all look like y'all have that. I know all that. And I tell you, this ain't my first rodeo. I've been dealing with the law 45 years. Oh, I'm, I've am i looked at the uh, <laughs> the notice that the state's filed. Uh, you're you're well-versed in the penal code of the state of Texas and the punishment range. I'll give yeah. you that. So, with all that being said, I will uh, send a waiver of counsel down there. I will uh, pull you back up after lunch and talk with you about it. And, but, but Mr. Uh, Mr. Dahoney will be, I'll ask him to stay on standby in case you need to ask anybody a question. And I can tell you, I think you're making the biggest mistake of your life, but that's up to you. Man, my life's almost over. Well, I don't know. I man, don't 60, no damn bone me. man, 69 years old, I would hope he's got a bunch of years left in him. But if you think not, maybe not. But, uh, that's up to you. Um, and then the other thing, of course, is if you choose to testify, then uh, you will be waiving uh, certain rights at guilt innocence, uh, including uh, the right to them, not. To not like I told him on his last talk, I am guilty of the last one. Actually, I am. I had to go on it. Yes, I did. But the other one, I didn't. I had a yep. police woman that actually stopped me that seen him pulling shit out of his pocket after she had done search me, my truck, the ground, everything else. And said, hey, look at what I found. Because it just stopped my niece and her boyfriend that night before that. Well, this. Got it out of their truck and put it in his pocket. They were laughing to get me. So they got a bag in from uh, Tamara Sharon and Carl Waddell, which he's a, a police informant. No, right, well, I, I don't, I don't care about all of that. All I no, care I about do, is your <laughs> honor, I'm not saying that I wouldn't attempt to introduce his statement that he did have dope on him in this particular case. It's going to trial Monday, which you just stated yeah. here on the record. Moment, yes. Yeah. 
Well, we're not talking about any of them except the 24th of October, 2023, Mr. Phillips. That's the only case I'm talking about on Monday. And so you just said that you had it. I have a feeling I mean, that'll get. It. If I'm guilty, I admit it. I didn't to beat the law some kind of way. But I hate being mm-hmm. lied on. I just like uh, that story Ed Dahoney tried to tell me that race game was a, a kid. Lying ass bitch. He was 43 and I was 24. Well, so there, there, there's nothing that anybody can do about going I'm back from a, from a case from 1981. <laughs> Oh, God. Well, it, is too, it is too late to worry about a case from 1981, Mr. Mr. Phillips. Either you got convicted of it or you didn't. And that's Then a, I got convicted. I pleaded no contest. Well, and no contest has the same legal effect as a plea of guilty, and that uh, case can be used. That case. I've only got five years. Well, that's fine, but that counts as one of your three strikes. I get out. <laughs> so, all right. Well, Mr. Phillips, uh, let's see. Mr. Dahoney, anything you wanted to bring to the court's attention? Just that uh, I would reiterate uh, my right. advice to favor of the- uh, Mr. Phillips that he should not testify uh, or make any type of statements uh, in the court or to the court that could possibly be used against him. Uh, I would against him representing himself uh, as the court has done and I think admirably but I will certainly be uh, as the court has requested a standby counsel so I will be there. Um, so please that uh, the, the jail has uh, or someone has gotten him closed uh, and I will also file on his behalf uh, as he has requested an election to punishment uh, this afternoon, uh, right. stating he has elected a jury. Uh, if the court could, uh, I guess, provide me with uh, the waiver once it comes back, I would appreciate that as well. I will. Your Honor, um, the state certainly is not uh, encouraging him to represent himself. I don't think that's a a good idea for him to do that either, but I do realize that he has that right. And sure. if if he goes forward with that and the court approves it, we'll certainly handle it as such. Um, because he's at least twice, I guess, now during this proceeding indicated that he did have those drugs and, and uh, I think he said he was guilty of that particular offense. It's one where he's going to come in and say he's guilty, and so we're just going to be going into a punishment on Tuesday, you know, with us picking a jury on Monday, and then we're going to begin the guilt innocence phase on Tuesday. If he's pleading guilty, we're just going into punishment, and he knows that, then I'll make sure that I have all my punishment witnesses here ready on on uh, Tuesday. All right, Mr. Phillips, do you, uh, since you're saying on this case that you are guilty, do you intend to plead guilty and just go to the jury on punishment, or do yeah. you want a full blown trial? Yeah. You want to plead guilty before the jury? Yeah, I've done right. the deal. And I'm guilty. I, I had to do it only. It's like well, do you, I'm going to be Do you I want me? I'm going to be bored my way out of it. I'm stupid enough walking down the street with my father. Well, Your Honor, before we go any further with that, I suppose the court would need to meet with him and go over the counsel waivers and all those things before he could do that, I think, without without yes. counsel and I think I should absent yes. myself from any of those matters and and yes. let that be handled between you and Mr. Dahoney and, and the defendant and y'all let me know how that goes. But if we are going to handle it that way from a procedural standpoint, that's the extent of my inquiry uh, is just for uh, efficiency of court purposes on when I'd have witnesses present since a, a number of them uh, are from out of town. Most of them are here local. Well, what I will do is, Mr. Phillips, I'm going to send you that waiver form. Uh, I'm going to go get lunch. Have You have time to read that waiver form. I will then come back. You and I, I'll pull you up on the video, uh, personally go over the waiver with you, make sure that's still what you want to do. 
Uh, I certainly would not advise it, but you're right. When you say you have the right to do it, you have the absolute right to represent yourself. And uh, after I have done that, then I will get Mr. Uh, uh, let Mr. Pratt know, send Mr. Dahoney a copy of the waiver. Uh, and if you decided that you want to withdraw, uh, he's going to file the election for the jury to assess punishment. If you decide that you want to withdraw the portion where you've requested a jury trial as to guilt, innocence, plead guilty before the court, uh, then the the only thing the jury would have to decide would be punishment, but you're welcome to go to the jury on the plea as well. Uh, but you and I can talk about that only after you've completed your waiver of counsel. I can't talk to you about that before then. It's just something I want you to be thinking about. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll call you back probably around one thirty. All right. Thank you, sir.